Star Wars Rogue One, the midquill. Let's review it. So I just got done seeing Star Wars Rogue One uh, about 20 or so minutes ago, um, and um, I'm impressed. Um, I'm giving it at about a nine out of 10. Um, there was some little flaws in it, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, yeah, overall, fantastic movie. Definitely would recommend it. Um, some great acting from Felicity Jones. Um, definitely, um, you know, really good addition to the Star Wars kind of entourage of people. Um, really interesting story. Um, I love how it blends right into A New Hope right at the end. Um, not to get too spoilery, but if you didn't know that, then uh, you should probably look it up. <laughs> um, you know, one of the great parts about this movie was the fact that, um, you know, it, it builds, it builds, it actually escalates very quickly, um, which I think was one of the reasons why I gave it uh, not a 10 out of 10, was that the, the first half hour of the movie was um, um, very pushed through. Um, which I understand, I, I get it. You know, it's a, it's a Star Wars standalone movie. Um, these aren't characters that we grew up with like some of the other originals. Um, you know, these are fresh people that we kind of just need to throw into the scenario and see what happens. But um, I, I wonder if you guys agree with me, but like I would have sat through the movie theater for an extra half hour easily to get a little bit more storyline, to kind of add up a little bit more of the feels for the characters. Um, I would have no problem with that. Um, hopefully maybe there's some extended uh, or deleted scenes um, in the Blu-ray version when it comes out, because um, I will be all over that uh, without question. Um, you know, uh, one of the great, great parts of this film was the uh, battle scenes. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. It was like almost playing Battlefront. Um, I mean, there was just explosions and choreographed uh, battles and fights. I mean, it was phenomenal. Probably the best of any Star Wars movie, hands down. Um, whoever uh, choreographed the fight scenes and the battle scenes in this, um, kudos, definitely. You did a great job. Um, you know, uh, one of my friends that I saw it with actually kind of mentioned that it was almost like uh, Saving Private Ryan when they were storming Normandy. Um, you know, that that's how much, you know, there's bullets and, and, you know, it's just everything happening all at once. Um, it's very, very exciting. Um, definitely um, one of the best I've seen thus far. Uh, you know, uh, something I was very surprised, which, um, I think everybody who watches it will be was the CGI for the faces. I was looking at Grand Moff Tarkin through the whole thing, without a doubt. I know uh, the actor passed away in the early 90s, but wow, perfect. And uh, whoever designed Leia's face for CGI or however they did that, I mean, I, whoever you are that did that, whatever your title is, you deserve that one award that is just the omnipotent of your title. Like, you deserve it. That is the best. I, I can't even, it was mind blowing. Um, that's how perfect it was. Um, it was great to see Vader actually um, Vadering, I guess is a new verb. Um, you know, how he acts in the books and the comics, you know, he's way more badass than he was visually uh, shown in the first three movies. Um, you know, he, he basically he was just lightsaber murdering people, which is uh, pretty much how he is in some of the other comics. Um, it, it was great to actually visually see it the way that um, some of the other authors have written about him in the past. So um, definitely look out for that. Uh, I will probably be rewatching that scene four or five times. Um, you know, I definitely am going to recommend this movie without a doubt. Um, I will probably see it three, I think I got three times scheduled to see it with some different groups of friends. Um, and each time I'm going to nitpick the hell out of it. I'm going to just dive into every scene. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely uh, go see it. Um, I am really excited about um, the uh, episode eight coming out. Um, next year, um, a lot of cool things and um, 
uh, kind of the, the hidden things are coming out of the pipe work on that one. So a lot of the rumor mills turning on it. Um, and then the Han Solo solo movie, mm, two more years from now, we're gonna see that. Um, that's gonna be quite interesting. Um, definitely uh, market calendars on that. Um, I wanna see how they do it. Maybe with this, this past CGI that I've seen, um, I seen, I, I don't know if they're going to uh, actually make the Han Solo face on whoever's acting it, or if they're just gonna get a fresh actor who's Han Solo-esque. So um, we'll see. I mean, what do you prefer? You know, mention in the comments below. Let's let's talk about it. Um, again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more reviews. Um, and hit some comments below if you want me to review anything in particular. Thanks guys, and uh, may the force be with you.